I'm Ryan, you're watching 60 Cycle Hum, and I've got a box here from Fender Musical Instruments. I know what it is. You know what it is. It's, uh, it's their new tremolo pedal. Let's get in this thing. Check it out. Kind of a big box. <laughs> Nothing else in here. Cool, like a uh, hexagon packing material there. I haven't seen that before. All right. MTG Tube Tremolo. What have we got here? I actually purposely have not looked up <laughs> any information on this, even though I knew it was coming because I wanted to just get like a pure first impressions off of it. I already have the Fender Treverb, which is a tremolo and reverb pedal. The thing I've been wondering is does this have an actual tube in it? Or is it, you know, like a, a uh, is it a model of a tube tremolo? So we're gonna find out together. Free online lessons, manual, little feet. Here is the pedal. It's pretty. Got this bronzy color to it. Bypass, tap, level, speed. There's a, there's subdivisions on here for the tap. Intensity, uh, shape modes. Looks like it goes from triangle to square. Then uh, like a you know skewed sawtooth to the other side of the sawtooth with triangle in the middle. And then a square wave that looks like it, uh, gets longer or shorter on either side of the wave control. LEDs on and off switch. 200 milliamps, nine volt in. That makes me think there is a tube in here. I don't wanna take it apart if I don't have to, but that's a lot of milliamps. Thanks for purchasing the MTG Tube Tremolo, a versatile analog tremolo that uses a real New old stock 6205 preamp tube. So it does have a tube in it. This looks like the kind of case where I'd have to take everything off of it to take a peek at the guts. And I, I really just don't want to do that today. So I'm not gonna. <laughs> if, I get, if I get really curious, I might do it someday. I'm going to include this in this video because I want the reverb off of it. I want to run a reverb before a tremolo. Is that too weird? Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. Give me something a little bit to be affected. <laughs> All right, took a little bit of setup, but I made it, I'm here. This guitar I know is gonna fall out of tune as I get it warmed up. Let's check my reverb. I like that, that works. Let's go with the neck pickup with the strangle switch on. On this Jaguar here. All right, time to check out the MTG tube tremolo.
There we go. Get those LEDs on, on those knobbies. I mean, there's a, you know, there's a lot of tremolos on the market. I have some tremolos that I really like, and I don't know. I, th this has got some features that I look for in a tremolo. First of all, most importantly, you wouldn't think it's the most important thing, but level. Some kind of volume control on a tremolo is so important to me because in a lot of ways, you're cutting your signal in half when you use a tremolo. You have your peaks, but then everything below the peak is lost volume. And so you gotta have a volume control to kind of even that out. Some pedals don't have a volume control and they incorporate their own little boost in there and some don't have a boost at all and you just lose volume. But a level control, a volume control, is the smart way to go in my opinion. Uh, speed control is fully modern. Tap divisions for, you know, 
those of you who want to get fancy with your tapping, it's a little bit stiff to use my hand on. But it does seem to work. I'm of the opinion that you don't want to have your tremolo tapped in to the rhythm of your playing, unless you've got a very specific part worked out. But I like the, uh, the tempo of my tremolo to like be counter my playing and swell in and out and be an effect instead of a, you know, a rhythmic tool. Maybe you're different than me, that's fine, but that's how I like to approach the effect. So I will use tap every now and then to be like, ah, I need to be fast or I need to be slow, but I almost never use it to tap in the actual speed like an actual like beats per minute with a tremolo. Intensity does exactly what you expect it to do. I mean, turn it down and you, you've got a boost pedal here with a tube in it. So a tube boost, I don't know. The mode switch, that gives you some really fun modern options. The, uh, the tremolo on here, on the tray verb, is uh, trying to model various you know, historical tremolos over the years. It doesn't give you a lot of extra options. It gives you level, rate, depth, and optical bias, and uh, harmonic tremolo, but it doesn't give you this wave shaping option here with the modes. And it's, it's pretty dang powerful. It gives you a lot to work with here. The top switch, You've got a normal triangle on the left. Sign in the middle. That's where I tend to live for a tremolo sound. Classic square on the right. Of course, the intensity. Unless you get extra tweaky with that if you want to. All right. And then the middle position. I mean, you've seen me do this already. I'm just confirming what you already saw. So you got triangle in the middle and then a left leaning sawtooth on the left. Let's turn the speed all the way down so you can really hear this. Uh, so it's shooting up and then ramping down, shooting up and ramping down. Maybe a little too slow. On the other side, it's ramping up and dropping, ramping up and dropping. It's a subtle thing when you're getting into the in-between settings, but you can hear it does make like a big difference in the feel and the mood and the character of the effect. Uh, it's a fun thing to have. All right, and the last one. This is the uh, this is the most interesting one in my opinion. This is where you can get really weird. In the middle, it's a normal square wave. On and off in even proportions. On the left, you get more on than you get off. So a tiny little sliver of off. And on 
on the right, you get a tiny sliver of on and big slivers of off. fun that little flickery sound with it over to the left here and the speed up and the intensity down a bit <laughs> guys think let me know down in the comments what you think of this pedal um let's do a quick comparison to the sounds that are in the tray verb i mean i don't know it, it does it sound like a tube is involved it sounds pretty warm from where i'm sitting <laughs> have a nice presence to it. I don't think people think of tremolo this way, but it is an effect that has a tonality to it, and there have been tremolos over the years where I've just not kept them. Because I'm like, it doesn't, like, yeah, it's doing a volume ramp, but there's a tonality to it that I just can't connect with. Like, it, it sounds bad. <laughs> I think this sounds really warm. It sounds really natural. It might be because of the tube. I don't know. I'm not a tube scientist. Uh, tube scientists, chime in down below. Uh, but I like the tonality of it. It's got this vintage, warm sort of feel to it. Uh, yeah, like I was going to do, let's compare it to the tray verb. I think bias is going to be the closest. MGT is a warmer signal. If that's important to you, then that's something to know. The other studies on here are more about shape on the bias versus optical, and then harmonic is just a completely different beast. Maybe that tonal difference will get completely lost <laughs> in, the, uh, in the YouTube compression of the audio. But uh, here in room, this is clearly a warmer, kind of smoother feeling, uh, you know, tonality to it. I mean, this is all kind of cork sniffery at a certain point. 
Uh, most people, I think, are going to look at these two or any other tremolo pedal, and they're going to compare features. Um, this one leans into the optical bias, harmonic kind of setting, combined with, you know, a vintage style reverb on the right hand side. This one dives deeper into the tweaky settings you can do with tremolos with the different modes and the wave and uh, tap tempo and stuff like that. No tap tempo on here. I don't know. You figure out what you want to buy. It just hits the right points for me. It hits the right sound. It's got the right vibe. It's got some little tweaky controls that I can mess with, even though for the most part, I'm gonna stick in the sine wave <laughs> setting for the most part and tweak a little bit to the left or right with the wave when I want to. I don't know. What do you guys think? All right, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, dislike, leave me a rude, nasty comment, support us on Patreon, and you know what? You stay grounded. You can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna twist some knobs. I'm gonna play out having some fun. Maybe I should get a little surfy loop going.